Hey, uh, this Tracy from Memphis. Uh, Hi. What's yeah, up? Yeah, I just called. It, yeah, uh, hope, hope, hope you y'all uh, uh, doing okay. Yeah, I just want to ask: uh, Have y'all heard anything about a, a, any disc for, format following 4K Blu-ray, like 8K Blu-ray or something? A disc for 8K Blu-rays? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I haven't heard of any kind of. The only thing I heard of was the new compression, which is um, H.266, which will compress, you know, into a 100 gigabyte disc. But I haven't heard. Um, and that was like, I think that was like sometime like eight months ago, nine months ago. But for the most part. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. If you, if you think about how much the um, the production companies, you know, Sony, you know, Paramount, what I, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> their name's Columbia. I don't anyway. Um, if you think about um their move to like buy these like 4K and 6K cameras, like just think about how much they would have to invest in multiple 8K camera rigs where you know to shoot these movies. To me, that seems a bit unrealistic. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. You know, yeah. if you think about it in the aspect of production right so some of these cameras joe what are uh, what are these aries at like thirty thousand a piece oh yeah they they get up to like 80 yeah and they I rent them. a lot of times they rent them right well because they, they have to have multiple cameras it's not like you just say you know it's, yeah. i mean independent films might have like one camera but but yeah so like it's it's to me it doesn't seem realistic to you know for for a production house to actually have an 8K camera to make a fully 8K film, although although uh, New Mutants was shot in 8K, so some have done it. You know, are they going to do it on a large scale? You That's think it's a really delivery good. thing, though? Chana? I think oh, 100 percent, it's a delivery. So so um, so like what the caller was saying is, you know, developing a new disc. They would literally have to either develop a new disc or come up with new compression to get the file size down mm -hmm. underneath uh, 100 gigabytes. Got it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, space yeah, limitation. Yeah. yeah, so it's like a space limitation. Yeah, exactly. And then think about streaming. You know, if they were going to try to stream that, you know, what does your bandwidth have to be and how many multiple 8K streams could be happening in like a neighborhood <laughs> before before everything kind of like crumbles? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, okay, so no word. Don't hold my breath for it. Co yeah, correct. Correct. And like if you're thinking about <laughs> buying an eight Yeah, if you're thinking about buying an 8K TV, I would say skip that. Skip that. Like okay, like that yeah. that is way 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 down the line. I I would say okay, realistically I know they're really trying to push it a lot, maybe 3 to 5 years. Maybe. Hmm. You know. But again, again, I like uh, every 8K TV I see um in person upscaling a 4k 4k content not so great and when they upscale 1080 content oh god it's even <laughs> worse so like their um yeah, upscaling yeah. algorithms need to um be a lot better i think okay all right man uh, i appreciate that i was uh that, i was you i know i heard something about the compression and all that mm -hmm. i just wanted they could make that work but you know, yeah i think keep, like keeping working. Keeping up with the Joneses says that um, they are using H.266 is being used in small samples by Netflix, which kind of makes sense because they are delivering a lot of 4K content. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Well, that's it. All right, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, th thanks for calling in. Thank you so much. Y'all right, no, take it easy. All right. You too.